once I got out of the military, I tried to make it as a uh, musician. I played the drums in an alternative rock band. Did that for a couple years. Found out real fast that the money's not very good. And after living in a studio apartment for two years, eating macaroni and cheese every night, it got kind of old. So I decided, uh, along with my family, with giving me some uh, helpful hints that I need to get a real job. So got hired on here. Been loving it ever since. Love going to work every day. Still like my macaroni and cheese. I just have a much nicer house to eat it in. <laughs> well, now we're on our way to a suspicious activity call in one of the local motel rooms here on the Strip. Um, report, he says that there's a large group of people going in and out with uh, jars of liquid, tubing, and coolers, and it smells like paint and other chemicals, which is uh, pretty consistent with meth labs, which is what we have a large problem with in this area. So we're going to do a quick knock and talk on the room, see what we can come up with. Uh, we'll be back around to our van door. Hi, how you doing? Good. Any problems here tonight? No. <laughs> Heard there was a, maybe a fight or something going on in here? Here? No fight? You guys mind if I come in and look around quick, make sure no one's laying dead? Okay. You haven't got a gun hidden in that briefcase, do you? No. Why don't you lift the lid for me, make sure I don't have a gun there where I can see? Yeah. Okay, why don't everybody put their hands in the air where I can see them? Put your hands in the air right now. What's up? Don't even think about reaching for anything, okay? What are you reaching under the briefcase for? Get on your knees right now. You too, get on your knees. What can I do? Come forward real, real slow. 320, county, have the other unit pick it up on the ground. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. No, you can sit there with your hands in the air, okay? Go ahead. Lay your feet straight back. Do you hear anything? Bring your knees to your chest. Knees to your chest. Cuff her. Let's go. Stop right there. Spread your legs. Real wide, real wide. See what the hell I got inside. Ready? Check his uh, ankles real good before you put him in, Dave. Okay. He's got a partial, partial lab setup going on here. Looks like they're about to start cooking. I haven't looked in the bathroom yet, so. What was going on, Dan? Um, I walk in. They let me in. Yeah, there's some more. There's like there's a bong down there tubing. Yeah, I'll get under the bed in a sec. This guy, yeah, this guy closes the briefcase real quick. I see, you know, paraphernalia laying all over. 
So yeah, I oil possibly or probably. Oh yeah, right there. It's probably a recipe for meth, actually. I'm not going to touch the bottle. You got all the liquids and all that good stuff here. I just want you Somebody was dumping it because it's still got some... Okay, oil Joe, I just want you to come over and lift this towel real quick. This is the cooler that the uh, reporty said they were bringing in. I assume this is my acetone. Right there. We might as well just pick, pick it up. Yeah, if someone want to pick that up, it was in his sock. Yeah, you can smell that acetone. I bet this is out in the field. Oh, yeah. Just brought it in. Yep, this is... This is prime, baby. Hey, can you give us two one more? Rock salt. Yeah, that's horrible. Any uh, ephedrine at all? Mm -hmm. I don't think they need ephedrine. Uh, it looks like they got... Yeah, the liquids are already through. here. Yeah. The jar looks like it had some... They've already got it. Here. They've got it down to liquid form. Yeah. There's two huge mason jars yeah. in that one. Yeah, yeah let's, get, let's get out of here, you guys. Let's just call lab team and... We'll have them process the room. This is your room, right? It's in your name? It's in my name. Okay. So what can you tell me about the stuff that's in there? I'm not there to tell, really. I mean... What happened today? Give us the course of action. How did this stuff get in your room? It was brought here. Did Rob say anything to the content of what was in there? Say anything to it? Yeah, and did you say what was it his? Did he say well, what did he say? His and Jason's. His and Jason's? Yeah. First guy you talked to. I don't want to go to jail for this. And I can't afford it, you know. I'm out on bail right now and I only get to go out one or two nights a week. So what are you on bail for? Gun system and firearm. Oh that's right. Some somebody shot. What kind of drug me. history do you have? As uh, far as convictions and I got I took a plea bargain for a uh, conspiracy manufacturer. Okay, sit tight. Hmm. Right now, some of the lab team members are going to go inside. They're going to evaluate the situation, uh, see the seriousness of it, and the uh, environmental problems, see who they need to call out. So they need to go in there with special respirators and stuff because they know what they can and can't breathe. And the lab team stays real active in Pierce County. It's one of our major problems. Uh, we've got a special unit that is, uh, that is all they do is meth labs and respond to them. So they keep real busy. They're very good at their job, very efficient. So it's best if we just call them out and let them do it.